So um, welcome to In Conversation with me, Juliet Bewa. And um, apologies, we are a bit late. We are eight minutes late. We don't want to say who was late. <laughs> I'm sure the guys are going to tell you who was late, but um, I mean, thank you very much for yes. joining me here once again for In Conversation With, and we've been bringing you, um, okay, the guys have already started talking, we're bringing you some series of um, interviews with um, the Black Stars players and also um, sports personalities across um, the globe, and um, tonight, or yesterday, we had um, Kasim. No, um, who plays for who plays in the uh, Bundesliga? And um, today we are talking to some up and coming stars, they are stars in their own way. But very soon you'll be seeing lots of them in the Black Star setup. And um, I have um, Gideon Mensa, who plays his club football in um, Belgium, with me. Gideon, thank you very much for joining me here on In Conversation With. You're welcome. And I've got Kudus uh, Mohammed. Um, he's joining us from um, Nordland, that is um, Denmark. Kudus, thank you for your time. All pleasure. And I'm one man who is hiding. Um, <laughs> Majid, Majid Ashmer. <laughs> he's joining us from Austria. And he plays a club football with um, Red Bull South Lake. Uh, Majid, thank you for your time as well. Yeah, anytime. You're welcome. Okay, so guys, let, let, let's start with how you are, you all are coping um, without football. How How is it like? Let me start with you, Kudus. Without football. Yeah. Um, you know what? Right. We had a um, personal program that we're doing at home, so... Yeah, that was what we were doing pretty much. So it was hard without football, but yeah, when you look at the bigger picture and the the importance of staying home, I think it's worth it. So yeah, we're managing inside. What, what, what is the program that you do at home? Your personal program you do at home when you wake up in a normal day? Um, the program is, is from the club. Um, exercises to keep fit and some running programs and i don't live far away from the club so i use the gym sometimes and yeah and i do my programs mostly in the and, um, yeah. oh okay yeah majid i'm sure it's, it's the same for you yeah 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 the same here because uh it's, it's just a home workout so i mean just to keep fit for if possible, we, I mean, we play our league back. So I think it's still the same. We, we play, uh, we work in at home and, but I think gradually we, we start training in, uh, in groups and I think it's, it's going on well. So hopefully we can start training as a team. I think basically in, uh, in two weeks or so. So, yeah. And um, Gideon, how, how are you coping? Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's, it's still the same with me. I mean, um, we all have the program that we have to follow from the club and then um i mean you have to do it you have you have no other option than to do it and then stay at home so we just have to do it and keep fit but coming back to you um majid you played for wafa before leaving um for mm -hmm. europe how important is academy football um to any player i mean um i mean it's uh I would say it's, it's it's really important because a guido is also. Hello, Majid. You have to, you have to, you have to set up so you, you don't you don't go out of frame when you look at your frame. Yeah, you can see me now. Yo, yeah, yeah, we can see you now, so you don't hide from us. Yeah. <laughs> so I was asking you, how is academy football? How important is academy football for a player? I mean, it's it's, it's really important because as you can see, the three of our four was we were we were I mean, we grew up from yeah. uh, academy. Because Gideon was was with me in, in Wafa and and Kudus was also in uh, in Right to Dream, so I think basically Right to Dream, yeah. yeah. I think basically, I mean, academy football is is really important for a young a young a young and upcoming I think footballer, if I must say, especially in Ghana. So I think it's it's uh, it helps you to improve in uh, in football, and I mean it's 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 much easier when you when you from academy to 
I mean, to play in Europe. So yeah, I think it's really important for a player in Ghana to, I mean, to be in an academy. Gideon, how did the academy football shape your career as a, as a, as a footballer? I mean, um, it did a lot for me because um, I had the talent already before I went there. But then, um, you know, there you have the you have the advanced coaches who, who are going to take you through your career and then going to take you through what you have to do and then what you don't need to do. I mean, and then um, with that, it helped me a lot when I came when I came to Europe because I there was some things that I don't I didn't need to go back and learn again because I had it already from the academy. Because we have coaches who were from um, Europe come to the academy every time and time and time from time to time. So. I mean, uh, it helped us a lot that we had we had that um, education and everything in the, from back in the academy. So I think um, the playing academy have had, uh, I mean, had the most impact in my career now. So, I mean, it was a great thing for me. And um, Kudus, you also with uh, Right to Dream, how was the experience like before going to Europe? Um, I think um, they said most of the tangible stuff, but I think um, traveling also and playing with European clubs and also experiencing the culture on because obviously you want to come to Europe to come and play football. So there's a lot of stuff we want, we have to go and learn about. So I think it's very important and vital. We travel and play some of the clubs in Europe and then see how it is to play out there. So when you go there professionally, you're already used to the, the stuff going on. Okay, so for you, if, if I heard you correctly, for you going out to play with um, other teams whilst you are in the academy, it helps shape your career? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it did a lot. It really helps, so. Hello guys, are you are you all there? I think the the line keeps tripping. I don't know. I don't know whose line keeps tripping. I think it's yours though. Probably it's not mine. <laughs> mine as well. I think you're all fine. It's just your camera. You are blur. Hi, Juliet. Send me a Oh, Snapchat. Your position. Hi, Julie. <laughs> Buddy. Come on. Kwe wapi mate? Ane yebe interview. Pati bat ni ni. Bacho, bacho. How was Akadami football? Ah, uh, Akadami football. It is nice. Why you think Akadami and Chito? Yes, oh. <laughs> yes, the channel people is good for us. <laughs> your your life too. Can I say from as a baby, my right? Majid, what are they? What are they? I do their comments. No, no, no. The comments, you know. 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 The comments, you I think that's the best thing. Maybe I'm calling Zambra. Maybe when she's here, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Oh. Hello. 
Kudos, can you hear me? Majid, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear you? I think your line. Uh, okay, thank you, guys. Problem. The line, the lines just went off. Yeah. <laughs> the lines just went off like that. But so we're talking about Gideon is trying to connect with us again. So we're talking about academy football and how it shaped your life. And I was asking you, Kudus, how important was academy football? Like when you're trying to get to Europe. I think um, it's very important because um, in the academy, we're trying to learn stuff that um, mostly happen in Europe. So like, yeah, culture wise and obviously the weather is not in Ghana, so the one there, but like football wise, what we learn on the field and how to manage your affairs, your food, lifestyle, all of that stuff. We learn all that in the academy. So all that, yeah, to prepare for, for, for the, for the for the lifestyle over here and you know the lifestyle of the fish is, is, is very important also so i think yeah that's the most important part of yeah okay but majid you are you are talking about academy as well the line was breaking a bit so i would want you to repeat that for how important just like um kudos is mentioning how important um academy football shaped his career how well did you do at um, wafa how did it help you being at wafa i think uh because I was, I was, I went to Wafa when I was, I was 12 years old, and uh, and you could imagine when, when, when I was very young, I, I didn't know what was, what's about football, and and now I, I, I grew up in Wafa, and I could know how Europe is because I mean we travel a lot, we visit, I mean, I'm top clubs to play with them in the in the competition and all that, so it gives you this feeling that okay, this this how Europe is and how I mean and 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 they are and the coaches from Wafa. I just like I just like white coaches in uh, in Europe, so it was it was very easy to adapt and uh, and to know how how Europe lifestyle is. Because as as Kudu said, we I mean we sleep early, we we I mean we know how to live with it. I mean we eat good, and I think this is basically I mean one good thing that you can learn from an academy. Because if you are if you are at home after training, I mean you just go around the whole Accra just to just to live your life and in academy it's not like that you have to be straight and all that so i think basically when you are from academy it's, it also helps you to achieve i mean good things in in life gideon with what um they are all saying then clearly i think it helps um shaping your life in terms of being disciplined and you yeah. talking about how you were already good when you went to the academy or you believed that you were good when you went to the academy <laughs> I mean, yeah, I had, I had the talent before I went to the academy. I'm not saying I was. Yeah, good, you had the or, talent. Yeah. yeah Majid is yeah. laughing. I don't know why he's laughing. So we'll let him explain that. <laughs> he, know, he, but, he knows me. He knows me. He knew I was. Yeah. I was. I was like. I was that good when I came. I came so to meet him at the academy anyway. Yeah. So I was asking. I'm sure with everything that Kudus and Majid so yeah, is I mean, saying, like discipline from, wise, from yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, from 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 what they said, I mean, uh, everything is true. Um, because um then in the academy you, you don't you don't have to go out i mean you're not allowed to go out so you do everything inside so mostly everything you do is like it's transparent so everybody's seeing what you're doing i mean you need to sleep early you need to uh, go to train on time you need to eat good you need to drink good you know so mostly it helps you to 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 stay fit and then to stay uh disciplined you know because there's nothing you're going to do that you're going to hide in the academy of course, um, of course, some of, some of us are very stubborn that we, we try to hide and do something. But but most mostly, I mean, the point that it was like, um, whatever you do is like everybody is watching, so you have to do it right. So, I mean, I think with that, it, it was helping very, very, very. I mean, it had many, many impact on our careers. And um, Kudus, talk to me about um, at FC Nordland. How has it grown your game? How has it been like being there? Um, obviously, it's, there's ups and downs, but yeah, which is part of the journey. But I think um, we have a very young swag. I think in the whole Europe or something like that, and it's more about. I know it's about winning games as well, but it's more here about development and how we cooperate with the 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 international football worldwide. So I think I'm still growing my game every single day, and yeah, I think since I joined here. And, I'm still growing and there's there's growth in, in my development and I think um there's been um a lot of help from here as well and also from the culture back home that we have some stuff that's here so it's easier to to understand. <laughs> 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 
Yang ikut mensi kudu sepuluh. Oh, macam mana? Yeah. Oh, macam mana? Gideon. Gideon. Yes. Sani, 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 sani bandung maju. Hai. Ini sani deh. Sani bandung maju. Kau sih kau bawa aku ni nama ni sana ni bandung. Isti wow, oti. Maji dangu ti. Ada mian minum. Ini pasu. Kau masih akal nama kena semua. Namaza. You blow your nose. Isti ni kau sih ni deh. You play your horns for that. You good already, Maradona. No wonder I'm going to make a live video. No more. No more. But I'm going to make a live video. I'm going to make a live Kali kau buat apa pun memang. Hai. Hui. Aku dah sini dia. Saya izah mi hati so. Saya izah mak mak kau sebodoh ni. Ibu kau mesti. Yang ni. Hai hai. Betul kan? <laughs> Sorry guys, today I'm having really terrible issues with my network. I apologize for that. So I was asking you, could it how has the time been at um, FC in England? Yeah, and like I was saying, I was saying, and <laughs> the development team we have, if not the one of the youngest team in the in Europe, and it's more about uh, playing young guys and developing our game. So um, I've played a lot of positions. To develop my game because you never know where you, you might be put on the pitch. So coming here, so really, even though we play for results as well, but the main thing is improving our game and developing as well, and to get ready for higher challenges in the future. So it has been ups and downs, and yeah, it's part of the journey, but we're still learning every day and then improving. What? 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 When you talk about ups and downs, talk to. And the question again, you were, you were. I, I was asking you, when you talk about, you said there have been ups and downs. So what exactly have you been through? Talk to us about that briefly. Um, obviously, um, um, football side, like, we have good games and bad games, and we learn from the bad ones and try to uh, improve on them. So that's what I'm talking about then. Okay. In, in the whole season, you have, yeah, a couple of good games, and you have okay bad games. So that's what I mean by ups and downs. And um, Majid, you, you spent some time at um, St. Gallen and now um, back at Red Bull. Yeah. Um, talk, uh, talk to us about playing on, on loan. Um, the playing time that you're getting, is it, is it okay with you? Now football is, is not there at the moment, but your loan spell, how has it been? Yeah, I think if I, if I must say, I mean, St. Gallen was, was one of my best in my career. And I think uh, it made me it made him develop so I'm so well. Because I do, I do watch my my game from Wafa, and uh, I could see myself that I've, I've really improved as a as a footballer and also as a person. And I think it was it was really a good a good season for me. And uh, I I I always thank God for I mean for that season. So I think yeah. And how has that improved your game um, with your time at Red Bull? Yeah, I think uh, in Red Bull now, I think Gideon I mean Gideon knows, and he knows I'm having. Uh, a tough a tough season now because i don't get much playing time as well here but i think it's it's also part of the football and i think it's a part of the journey because we i mean we keep learning and i think uh i have i have more time to improve and i, I need a small room for improvement so i think i keep learning day in day out and i think hopefully soon i'll i'll, I'll get my time back and uh, start playing as i did in Senegal. get on why didn't you get enough of Oh, let me say playing time at Red Bull. <laughs> Gideon, can you hear me? <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, I do, I do. I mean, uh, 
the the, the captain is obviously on my position, so um, it wasn't so easy. No matter how I was going to compete with him, I mean, he was still going to play every game, you know. So um, it's not like I wasn't good enough for him, or I wasn't good enough for the team. But then um, they have to respect the captain, and then they have to because he's been the team. He's been in the team for like uh, almost twelve years now. And then he's he's from Austria. I'm not saying he's he's playing because he's from Austria, but then they need to respect him, and then they need to give him that respect. So, I mean, I do whatever I can do. I mean, training and then competing with him, but then I don't want to. He's gonna play every game. So, I so you're hoping the, the main reason why I'm not playing there. So you're hoping after your loan spell, maybe you you get a chance to go back again. Yeah, I want him back. I want him back for sure. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I want to play in Red Bull. I mean, Red Bull is a, a great club, you know. They play in the Champions League and the Europa League, and then, um, and then in the transfer market, I mean, Red Bull is one of the the teams that people are looking at, you know. So I, I obviously want to play there, but um, I have to see it from different angles. If if I'm going to go there and I'm going to play, then for sure I want to be there. But then, if I'm not going to go there and play, then I have to also find a way because I'm still learning. I mean, I'm still young and I need to play every game. I need to. Continue my development because we could all see that I went to Belgium and I played most of the games and then um, I improved a lot. So I'm not thinking of going back to Red Bull and then going to sit down, sit down and not playing again. So I need to watch every, every angle how it's going to be when I go back. So if I'm going to play, then for sure I'm going to go back. So, but I have to see that. I mean, if I'm not going to play, then for sure I'm not going back. But you seem to be enjoying your time in Belgium. What What's the secret? <laughs> African food, African food. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> I mean, most every player, I mean, every, every Ghanaian player or every African player who is in Europe wants to play football, you know. I said the money that we are getting, I said the numbers that we are getting, we still want to play football, you know. So, I mean, for me, it was it was like a different environment for me. And then it was like a different um, experience for me because I was playing every game there. I mean, I, before the, the COVID came because I was playing every game. So, I mean, that yeah. gave me like a good, good uh, feeling, you know. Oh, shut up. So <laughs> I was playing every game, and then so it's obvious I'm gonna I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have a great time there, too, you know. So I mean that's the secret. Okay, and um, one question that I have to also ask you is your when when you had your debut um in that South African game, it must have been a proud moment for you, Gideon. Yeah, it was it was a big it was a big thing for me. I, in my career i mean it was like a great achievement in my career i know that there's more to come but then um, um me coming back i mean coming to to represent my my country i mean uh, the senior side and then playing the first game and starting from the first 11 it was like everything for me and then uh, i still thank god for that opportunity that he gave me in, in that game you know so it was like a great thing for me and um kudos someone is asking you um where is bazaki <laughs> So oh. one of your fans, they're asking you, where is Bazaki? <laughs> What's, that in, What's that in the first place? You have to, you have to tell us Bazaki, about that. In. Explain, explain, my dude. Explain. <laughs> <You're> so... <laughs> so, um, Bazaki is from, from um, a house where that's um, Bakinzaki is Black Lion, and I just shortened it to uh, oh, okay. Bazaki. So uh, it's just some, it's my local, the, um, yeah. Okay, think, all right, but <laughs> oh, okay, you're looking for you're looking for your cap. Okay, cool. But we don't but need, you, we don't you, need you... now. Don't worry, please. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but Quiddus, you, you have been you have been linked to clubs in Turkey, in England, so many clubs. And how close how close are you to leaving Denmark? Or you want to for now you want to stay in Denmark? Um I think um we still have um about 12 games to finish the season. So, and we are on the fifth position and the focus is to help the team if possible qualify for the Europa qualification. So I still have a lot of unfinished business to do. So I think, and <laughs> most of all that games will, will, will depend on my next, where I go next or my next decision. So the games left are very important on what I do next. So that's just the focus right now to finish the season strongly and then after that, we we'll see where where the next gear goes. Number <laughs> But it looks it looks like it looks like they don't want they don't want to continue they don't want to continue the season. Or have you had anything different? 
Oh no, we're playing. Yeah, we're playing in two weeks. I think we start playing. Okay. So and gonna... what kind of okay, but what kind of measures? Um, what, what kind of measures are they putting in place? I mean, your club and also the the body that organizes the league. What kind of measures are they? Are they testing the players? What are they going to do? Um, to be honest, I don't know um, the uh, exact details on what's going to be done, but I know we're not going to play with fans and. Yeah, that's, that's all I know for now. But I know that there's going to be a lot of protocols and precautions to follow as well. But we're not going to play with fans. Yeah. But how, how is it going to change the mentality of the game? Because you, you are used to playing with the fans now because of COVID-19. You can't play with the fans. Are you, are you mentally okay, like psyched up to go and play football in these times? Um, I think that's when you need to... Um, you need the internal motivation because... Um, all the fans and all of that stuff is external motivation. So you need the internal motivation to motivate yourself to play the game. So I know it's a different um, whole vibe and all of that, but um, yeah, we adapt to it and then get into it. Yeah. I was asking Gideon about his debut in the Black Stars and how it made him feel. You also had even a perfect debut for the Black Stars by even scoring even on your present how, how was the feeling like um first of all i want to give the coach the thanks for believing in me and also giving me the opportunity and i don't know there's a decision in the world for me to describe that feeling well <laughs> yeah it was it was crazy but yeah i think there's the small work to be done i think um you open up for more opportunities and more expectations comes with it as well so I think it's a great feeling, and we put that aside and then look for it. No, but we, we, your fans want to know how you felt scoring that goal and how important it was for you also um, to play for your national team. Yeah. It's very important because that's, that's every player's dream to represent the nation at the highest level. So I, I won't lie about that. I felt like really good and coming on the pitch and also, the players also helped me as well. They believed in me and, yeah, I showcased what I have there. So it felt really, really good. And I just think it's just the beginning. So we have more work to do. And um, Sly P, thank you guys, who, um, the, your fans who are joining in. And Sly P, J is saying, one of, the, one of the three will surely play for my team, Chelsea FC, someday. <laughs> so... We're hoping to see which one of you plays for Chelsea. We'll be keeping an eye on that. And um Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. So come on. Okay, first lady saying, Julia, please ask Kudus and Majid what their dream teams are. So let me start with you, Majid. Your dream team. You know, can you help me? <laughs> no, this one, no one is helping you, Majid. <laughs> oh, good. Kudus, good. Kasa. So we are listening to you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, we are, we are, we were hoping to be, I mean, to be in in these top teams, and I think I don't, I don't really have uh, a one favorite. Team, one team. I think I don't really have a favorite. So, I think basically, I, I, I will, I will wish to play in, in in one of these top teams. So, I think this, this, this is my dream. <laughs> what, what team? What team do you do, do, do you like? You know, <laughs> which one is your preference? Because you can't say you like all teams. Which one is your preference? Yeah, I love Barcelona. Oh, okay, okay. Why Barcelona? Because of Messi? <laughs> no, 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 no. I think, uh, I think they play. I mean, they play really good football, and I think it, it, uh, it looks easy to learn, but it, it looks very hard. I mean, to do it. So I think, uh, I mean, we're learning a lot from from them, and I think it's. I mean, that's why I, I, I love Barcelona because they play very good football. Kudos, your turn now. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, team? Barcelona. So I was supporting them since I was a kid. So <laughs> growing up and learning more about them, just yeah, broadens the, the love. So yeah. So so, what did you learn about Barcelona? Um, obviously, I did touch on some of them. I just feel the way they, they play, catch the audience, and you know. That's the style of play I want to be like express yourself on the pitch and all of that. So that's why I love them. 
Gideon, I asked you about your debut in the Black Stars. Do you, do you think you can get permanent place in the team going forward? Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm working towards um, that. I mean, um, I'm, I'm working, and then I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that the coaches, the coaches are going to see what uh, I mean, what work I'm putting in, uh, and then also the the fans, and then everyone in Ghana is going to see, it. and then they're going to know that yes, I, I deserve a permanent place in the, in the Black Star. So, I think yeah, it's, it's possible. What what kind of work are you putting in, or how much work are you putting in? I mean, um, I mean, I had I had a lot of conversation with the the, the, the former coach, I mean, Coach Yapia, and then um, uh, and also the the current coach now, um, and then mostly they they were about uh, what I should do more, and then what I shouldn't do more. I mean, in, to improve my game, you know, with the national team. So I think I'm I'm, I'm basing on that, and then I'm working to to improve on improve on what I have to improve, and then to also stop what I, I don't have to do in, in my game, you know. So. I think that's the, uh, basically what I have to do. I have to improve, and then so that's what I'm working on. You you mentioned um, the former coach. That's Chrissy up here. How was his managerial skills? The, the yeah. shortest time that you spent with him. How how was it like? Um, I think um, every every coach that I work with. Um, be it, uh, the national team or the club side. I mean, every every coach has his, his own way, and then um, uh, I think he's he's the calm type. He, he he's the one who doesn't want to shout on you to to frustrate you in the game, and then who wants to talk to you as a as a father, and then um, uh, as a big brother. You know, he he takes his, his time to talk to you, and then make sure that you are listening to whatever he's saying. So I think he's he's a good coach, and then a great coach also. And um, your thoughts on also um, Siki Akono? You you you've made mention that you've had some few talks with him. Your thoughts on this, um, CK, as well as the new coach of the Black Stars? I think yeah, um, uh, Coach CK Connor is also um, um, a good coach in in his in his own way because um, he he's uh, he's very active on the field and then outside the field. You know, pre when we have when we have a game before the before the game every meeting that we have, if you see him talking, like you see that like, uh, he's the one who want to um, talk and then make actions. You know, he wants to he wants to show you what he's saying. You know, he wants to prove that. Of course, this is, how, this is how I want you to do it. So, and then, like I said, every coach has his own way. So, that that unique way from him is also like a great thing. You know, like there are some players that they they want you to they want to see you performing what you want them to do before they, before they can do it right. You know, and then he's that type of coach who, who wants to push you and then do the right thing. You know, he doesn't want to leave you so you relax or whatever. You know, so. Yeah, Majid, we've been talking about black stars. I think Kudus yeah. had his share. Um, Gideon had a share. You've also had your share in the Black Stars. Are you hoping to, hopefully, to in the coming maybe years or months to secure a permanent place in the team? Yeah, I think there's. Uh, I mean, there's really. I mean, much work to be done, and I think. Uh, I mean, the last the last game, as you said, I saw I saw my kids. I mean, doing so well, and uh, I was proud of them. And uh, I said to myself, uh, I have to join them when the time is right. You know what I mean? So. I think uh, there's so much work to be done, and I mean, we are wishing to be, I mean, to be representing our our club in the in the big stages. So I think it's it's one thing that is always in my mind. But I think uh, I have to work hard first, and uh, everything else comes later. I like the way you said you saw um, Kudus and Gideon playing. So uh, you know, like a big brother role. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> so well, you know, like, like a, I mean, he's a big brother anyway. My boys. I, uh, I see, I've seen that like boy playing football. <laughs> no, no, no. You know, you know, Gideon is, uh, is like a good brother, and uh, and Cruz is like a uh, a hood You're brother. Small boy. No, no, it's like a hood. <laughs> yeah, small boy. That is really sorry, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a hood brother because I mean we grew up playing the same the same team in uh, in Mambo B. So I think I mean when I saw it, I was I was really proud, and I said to myself, "Oh, I mean we need to we need to make a hood proud," and I mean because now. Every, everyone in Mambo or Nima is trying to I mean, support me and Kudus. And I think it's also, I mean, there are one or two players like Sadiq and uh, and these guys who are coming from Nima and Mambo So I think I was really happy and I said to myself, I need to, I need to join my G to, I mean, to kill it. So hopefully soon. So <laughs> hopefully soon you guys will be killing it in the national yeah. team. Okay. <laughs> also, I think um, with Majid and he playing the same team, he went to the local club before I came in. When I came, he left to work for the academy. So um, that time when you were playing academy, you were one of the players like most of the guys look up to. And of course, that time you 
he was one of the players I was, I was looking up to as well. And I left to an academy and he also started traveling and playing. So it's like um, the, the trend continue. I've been looking up to him to, till today. So regardless of um, the Black Stars, who is in now and all of that, I still like look up to him and learn a lot from him. I watch most of his game and you can always learn from each other. So That's he has cool. my senior in front of me. So I think um, regardless of what's happening right now, he has been my inspiration since young till now. So the, the love still continues. All of my gene. <laughs> <laughs> but Kudus, what are some of the things, and I think this question goes for you and um, Gideon, what are some of the things that you picked up when you went into the Black Stars setup? Because you are more or less like a new entrant into the team. You have um, old and experienced players in there. How were you welcomed and how uh, how did you adjust to um, to the setup? The, the senior first, so Gideon, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gideon, you first. <laughs> <laughs> because I think I think it was like it was like um, it was a, a great moment, you know, because uh, in the Black Stars, this is the this is the team where you go and then everyone sees you as like as a big player or as a small player, you know, nobody sees himself as like a big player or like a new player or an old player. So because at the end of the day, we are, we are all going going out there to represent our country, you know, so there's, there's no need to to see who is the new guy or who is the old guy, you know. Let's, we, we just leave that side, uh, that side for the fans. And then we, we the players, we, we see ourselves as like the same play, the same people. When we go back to our club, okay, we have this player who's playing for this big club or who's playing for this small club. But then when we come back to Ghana, I mean, we are all the same. And then we want to represent our country, so we all have one goal. So I think the the atmosphere in the campus was like uh, was like a great moment. And then I mean, there's there's no there's no day that I feel like I, I was a new player, so I need to I need to I mean take myself from the old place, or I need to say to myself that now nah, I don't need to do this. I mean, it was like they they, they give you free will. You, you need to I mean you free to do whatever you want to do in the camp. And then yeah, so it was like a great moment for us. Kudos. Your thoughts as well? Yeah, I think pretty much what Gideon said, in, regardless of the difference in chapters, like even in the levels of experience, I think um, the the cohesion in the team is, is is wonderful. There's nothing like you are the oldest and you are the youngest. When it's time for vibing, is the team. And and we took the energy to the pitch as well. And, and there's obviously players who have more experience and played more than us so obviously we learn a lot from them as well and take their advices as well so but i think like gideon said it's the same um energy and how they communicate to us regardless of the age and chapters and levels of experience and all of that stuff okay so the nima and the mamobi team <laughs> they are in our, our mention so this one is from um rudest supreme these are some big names on twitter it's uh, he's saying nima is truly proud of you guys so make her four and my should ten who is maker is it maji <laughs> yeah, he makes everything does the makeup okay and uh, there's also there's also one question here how important how important is it's coming from quick lawrence he's asking um how important is is it for you guys to be playing in an environment where you are held in um, high esteem. Maybe, maybe let me let me let me pick the thoughts of Gideon. He's he's having some, you know, he's giving me some facial expression <laughs> no <laughs> when way. I was reading. The <laughs> How important is it for you guys to be playing in an environment where you are held in high esteem? So I'm, I believe maybe it's coming from Nima and Mamobi, where 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 you grew up. So okay. it's just right. Maybe Kudus. Kudos, you have to answer this. Also from Obwasi, I think I think they're also watching. So they <laughs> <don't know. laughs> the younger one will answer this last week. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, but, but no, it, no, no, no. Well, Gideon, don't be deceived. A lot of people know you. They know you. <laughs> no, no, no. Majid has to go first. Majid has to go first. No, no, no. Okay, no. Majid, Majid. So Kweku Lawrence is asking, how important is it for you guys to be playing in an environment where you are held? in high esteem so we're coming from a place like maybe um nima or mamobi and everybody seems to be looking up to you all the young guys in there how how, how is it like 
yeah i think uh, it feels it feels great and um, it feels like you are you are really appreciated from where you're from uh, and i think i think kudus knows and i think i mean gideon also who, who, who know because i think when when you're from a wood i mean we all know i mean even mama be how it is and i mean when you when you get to this level everyone everyone knows how hard you work to get here and i think it's and when you look back and see people, I mean, I mean, cheering you and, and try to appreciate it, and it feels really good that okay, you can watch back and know that okay, I mean, you have made a step. So I think it's it's just like I mean, people appreciating you, and and and, and I think there's more, there's more, I mean, there's more in front. You get what I mean? So I think these are these are just an, uh, a good feeling for you to I mean, to move to the next step. Kudos coming from Mamobi Nima, you are from Mamobi, and. You see, all the all, all the hood guys are are sending us messages and <laughs> where you where you've got into and where you want to go in in your career. How does it make you feel um, when you have all these guys and even um, it it could be female, male, all of them looking up to you, playing football and looking up to you. Female, yeah, I'm gonna thank them for the support and since we started till now, and the support has been crazy and. And and this is just a boost to to is a motivation to always because you always want to make them proud. And so we want to thank them for their support. And like I said, it also feels good um, like to know you are maybe inspiring someone as well. Like I said, when I was growing up, there were a lot of people that was looking up from the hood as well. And I know how it felt, you know. So it's, it feels good to to know that you are you are inspiring someone as well. And you you always want to do more to to even get higher to. Even inspire them more, so it's a leverage to open that they can also do it as well. So it's a good feeling. Okay, we have just about ten minutes to go, but Gideon, we've we've heard from the you know the Mamobi, the Nimes. Are you from East Legon side or Trasaka? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you from that side? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, from from where I'm from, it's it's, it's not here in Accra. Where, where I mean, are you from? Um, I mean, if you're talking about communities, I, I played in like a lot of communities before I go to Accra. So, okay. I mean, I started okay, my, so my... yeah, I mean, yeah, so I mean, it's all in the story anyway. Uh, <laughs> so I started, <laughs> I started in the in the, in the, in the town called uh, Junkwa in the in the central region, but then I was very young there. So then I moved to Obuasi. So I spent of, I spent most of my time, I mean, most of my age in Obuasi. So I would talk about Obuasi. And then I came back to uh, when I, I joined Wafa, Waf, I mean first final so i was coming back to alaju when i when we go for a holiday so i mean coming from a community like that you, you know that people are looking up to you and then um uh, you need to i mean go out there and use their support that they have on you to to do something and then give back to them you know because mostly when we are giving back to our community it's not like it's not about giving money or giving um uh, what we have you know it's, it's sometimes about what we are i mean what what use are we using their their their, their, their support you know so we go out there and then we we, we prove them that yes we, they, we deserve their support and then and then make them feel proud about us you know so i mean that's the most important thing that you need to go out there and then prove to them that you are you are you are thankful for, you are thankful for thankful for their support my style is over <laughs> Big joke. Big Lawrence Square. Hi, Juliet. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I see. Yeah. Uh, I will talk to you. Yeah. I will talk to you. I will talk to you. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
bad, so no, no. When we ask the same question for them. Okay, so we can go on. Kabon so me like po. No, 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 Kai. I'm a foot, I'm a foot, I'm a foot, I'm a foot. I have a phone on camera, and I'm not sure if 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 I'm not sure I don't know what to do. This way, I tell my to the Mrs. boy. I don't I think I'm seeing the same news coming from Korea. Maybe, maybe, sir. Oh, maybe. Oh, see there, oh, see there. No, I don't wish you. I don't wish you. Oh, what? I'm going to photo Alex. I'm going to do something with friends. I'm going to do something with my friends. What's that? I'm saying, yeah, G. Where am I never about? Where? You know, I'm going to get Bozu. Ciao. Hello. Hello. Hello? Yeah, hello? Yeah, hello? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we do. Um, Please, apologies. Apologies again. In just about five minutes, let me wrap up. It's been terrible. My internet has been tripping. I don't know. I don't, absolutely don't know why. Because there were there were lots of questions here that I... Uh, I mean, needed to yeah, be out. Yeah, people are saying, okay, today the connection is bad. I know. <laughs> yeah, there were, some, there were some questions here. I think, Maji, someone was asking you about um, Holland, how good how good he is. Yeah, Gideon, I mean, Gideon can testify also. So, I, think he, he was, I don't know him. I mean, he was, I mean, he's, uh, I mean, he was uh, like a machine uh, in trainings because he scores like a, a lot of goals when he's training. So, I think basically I saw, I saw him to be, I mean, to become one of the I mean, the great players but it came so quick like i just wake mm -hmm. up and uh, be like well Holland is everywhere in the world and i was like oh so i mean i mean he's uh he's a great player and he's he's doing well as well 
it's it's really a good score on yeah give any 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 words to our Yeah, I mean, um, he he's he's a great player. I mean, I mean, we saw we all saw the what he did in the um under twenty World Cup. I think he scored I think nine nine goals in one game. I mean, I think it, uh it started from there where his greatness started, and then um from time to time we saw that he was working and then he was trying to be uh, a top player. So I was I wasn't surprised when he 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 got where he is now. I mean, it was something that. We all expected point from him, and then he did it. So, okay. Um, Kudos, just before I let you guys go, um, Dita is Dita Carr is asking, which athlete um, do you enjoy working with the most, and why? Which athlete? Yeah, do you enjoy working with the most? I said maybe which footballer or or teammate. I I think the question is not really clear. Do you enjoy working with the most? And why? I think it's it's for all all three of you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's for all three of you. So which maybe which which footballer um do you enjoy um training or working with the most and why? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's 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 move let's move on with that. Um, yeah. but, X, but X is saying, Juliet, drop your number so we send you a bundle. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I have, I have, I have, I have, I have internet. No, I can defend myself, but I have internet. It's not, it's not about bundle, it's about the network, which is not really great, but that's okay. Thank you, thank you for I think maybe, um, saying that. I think maybe he had uh, he had good stay in it, that's why. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have said that in my absence. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. wow. Oh, I have to watch that video again. <laughs> I have to watch that video again. But anyway, so this, someone, is asking, <laughs> someone is asking you, which team do you want to play for in England? Okay, he's in that now. But um, Badez is asking you, which team do you want to play for in England? In England. If you get a chance to play in England, I believe. But it's bravo. <laughs> um, obviously, I need to study more of the clubs and <laughs> the one that fits my style best. But <laughs> <laughs> we're still waiting. My friend, this one, we go. Ish. Let's ask Arsenal. Arsenal. Why yeah. Arsenal? You know we are going to ask you why Arsenal. Yeah, I like I like the way they play, and I think it will fit my style. That's why. Yeah, and I have love for the club as well. So. Yeah. Okay, and um, this question um. Okay, Matthew, someone wants me to ask you about your humanitarian acts. Oh. Please, please, <laughs> please ask Majid of his humanitarian act. What, what humanitarian act do you do, Majid? Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know from from where he he's saying that, but maybe he saw me. I mean, trying to help my community in a, in a small way I can. So I think uh, I mean this. I mean this is the only thing I can do for my hood where where I came from. I I mean in this. In this in this crazy moment and I'm mean, a very difficult moment, I think that's the only way I can I can try help my hood and with with the with the small I can. So I think maybe he saw that and uh, that's why it's asking. But I think I mean we need to we need to give back to our community sometimes and we need to appreciate how far we come from and how how we can take good care of our our hood in uh, in the near future. I think there's a saying unakakana uma. So I think that's 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 what keeping going. Please speak English. You don't understand. Far from. It's true. Yeah, I wasn't bored that time. I think Juliet knows what I'm, what I'm talking about. <laughs> you don't know.
Ils n'ont rien de me casser à bout de je vais lui donner Il a eu ce pour nous, il a eu ce Il a eu ce Il a C'est Bad network. Yeah, I think we need to do this again. Definitely. Let go off. Cry. Not all has to. Regular artist. You want Bangkok? I want to send it to Kenya, Jamie, Jamie. Is it regular artist being here? We're gonna form a team. Ah, give give us some mobile, mobile, go now. What's the name? Give give us one now. I go mobile, give. What's the name? Ah, but some mobile, mobile, like why? Mobile, go now. Mais c'est ça, mon légume, mon bébé. Mais c'est où, on va aller à Bobo Ligue. C'est le légume, mon toit, soit. On a chance de quitter, on va aller à Bobo Ligue. On va aller à Bobo Ligue. On va aller à Bobo Lig